Okay, week six, on to creditors' rights and bankruptcy. The United States is unique in the sense that early in our history, we did away with what was called debtor's prison. In Europe, at the time of the founding and early uh, formation of our country, if you had a debt that you could not pay or satisfy, you would actually be thrown in prison indefinitely until your family members could afford to pay off the money that you owed. The United States said, no, we don't want to continue this history of debtor prisons. And they created this thing called bankruptcy. And bankruptcy is essentially something that it's a formal process through a court. It's the federal court system that allows debtors, people who owe money, to um, either be absolved of that debt or work out a structured payment. So the issue then is what if it's a business to business setting and you owe me money and you file for bankruptcy? I am a creditor. You are the debtor. What are my rights when somebody I'm doing business with files for bankruptcy? Before we discuss bankruptcy, creditors' rights within bankruptcy specifically, let's look at generally what are creditors' rights. So if I am the party that is owed money, I can have a right to sue the debtor to seek a court judgment ordering payment. If I win that case, then it's up to me to enforce that via my attorneys, my counsel. There might be a security interest via the contract. So if you provided collateral in the terms of the contract, let's say you um, collateralized some land, then I can seize or sell that land. If I am a contractor, I might have an automatic statutory secured interest in the building. That means if I'm a roofing contractor and you owe me $50,000 for a roof on a small business, when you sell that building, I will be paid because there's a statutory lien. If an individual owes me money, I can seek wage garnishment. That's not easy. There are a lot of rules, but it is something so I can get a percentage of your paycheck. And I can um, place a lien on other property to secure repayment of debt. That's kind of a catch-all because it's very case specific. But the most common would be I sue you uh, seeking a judgment in a court of law. Now, I just gave you a list of uh, creditors' rights. We just went through that. And how does bankruptcy impact those rights? Generally speaking, bankruptcy will block lawsuits, property seizure, garnished wages, etc. As If you are a creditor, as soon as you learn that the debtor has filed bankruptcy, stop all action and get an attorney because there are incredible uh, penalties if you pursue um, collection outside of the bankruptcy court system for somebody who has sought the protection of the bankruptcy court. Let's look at uh, chapter 7 and 13. Um, so there, there are different types of bankruptcy that are filed. Chapter 7 and 13 are the most common. Chapter 7 is typically a consumer uh, filing, meaning an individual files for Chapter 7. Most often it's filed because I have allowed my credit card debt to get exceptionally high. I don't have a home with a lot of equity or home at all, and I have a modest vehicle, very little in terms of personal assets. When I file Chapter 7, all of my debts are listed with the court, and they are completely erased at the end of the Chapter 7. So if I'm a debtor or a creditor, um, I'm probably not going to get anything when I um, learn that you're filing Chapter 7. Chapter 13 is different. Let's say uh, I am the debtor and I have a good income. I have a decent house with some equity and I have a nice vehicle, some other personal assets that exceed the allowed amount. Just know that for Chapter 7, there is a list of what you are allowed to have. And anything above that must be sold. I'm not going to go into that list. This isn't a bankruptcy class, but um, 
for anybody with any type of assets, good income, decent home, you're going to probably end up in chapter 13, which is a reorganization, re, a prioritizing of your debts. The judge, the bankruptcy court will look at your income, they'll look at your liabilities, and they'll work out a plan to repay um, creditors. Not all creditors. Some creditors may be pushed out and, and effectively get nothing. Others may be forced to accept uh, a lower amount. So um, it is a reorganization of your debt. Now, Chapter 7 is specifically for business. Okay. And so we're going to focus on Chapter 11 in more detail. As soon as a business files for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection, all creditors must immediately cease all collection efforts. That's called an automatic stay. If you do not do that, you will be hit with treble damages. Uh, that means uh, a penalty. Multiply that by three. That's treble damages. Um, it's not a good thing to pursue collection. It's very upsetting as a creditor because you essentially are handcuffed and you have to work through the court process via attorneys. The process, once a debtor files for Chapter 11, so this is a business that has sought out Chapter 11 bankruptcy, there will be a first meeting of the creditors and creditors will send a representative, typically an attorney, um, to ensure that they are identified correctly as a creditor of the debtor and what amount uh, is um, have what amount of debt has been identified now in terms of chapter 11 and um, contracts chapter 11 is typically a reorganization so it's not the business saying hey we are going to dissolve and, and, and go out of business Typically, it's a reorganization, meaning uh, we've fallen upon hard times. We need to reorganize, and we, but we can't pay all of our bills. We can pay some of our bills. So the debtors can assume uh, beneficial contracts, ones that are still good for the business, and then they can reject the bad contracts that they've gotten into, burdensome contracts. However, this has all got to be with the approval of the court. So it's actually just a work, a workout plan for the business to keep it alive. Next, the creditors will file a proof of claim. So we need proof. We must substantiate our claim, both secured and unsecured creditors. Secured would be, um, I sold you equipment. That equipment is in your building. I have a lien on that equipment, so it's secured, my interest. Unsecured would be a general creditor who has not, a bank who had not um, requested, let's say, collateral of any type. Next, we move on to a creditor's committee. So larger groups of unsecured creditors will have their attorneys form a committee, and that is essentially um, to ensure that they get at least a portion of what they are owed. Then we get to the negotiation, the final phase of the Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Um, creditors negotiate the debtor's reorganization um, plan terms. So um, we can send our attorneys to court and attempt to um, negotiate to the benefit of our client to the extent that they are able. And again, Chapter 11 is a reorganization of the debts owed with the hope of decreasing the financial burden on the business so that they can continue to survive. Thank you very much.